So thank you, Yanis, for joining us at uh, Canal Recipes. You are one of the famous attendees that we have every single year. So uh, part of the previous video we had were more likely around the speakers, but we are also interesting to show who are also the people attendees and what they are gaining for the, from the conference, uh, what else they are doing in their life, what is bring their passion. So uh, my first question is, uh, please quickly introduce yourself, who you are, what are you doing in your life, and why are you coming to Canal Recipes? So my name is uh, Anis Astier. I've been a uh, kernel engineer for uh, quite some time now. I work in um, the digital TV uh, market. I said mostly uh, TV set-top boxes where I do uh, embedded systems and uh, Linux uh, integration, uh, kernel and bootloader development and uh, various, various things uh, in the set-top box uh, business. So yeah, I've been interested in kernel for uh, since I was a student and uh, at first working in embedded systems, then uh, then uh, yeah, I continued in, the, in this road and uh, and I've been to kernel recipes since the first edition. Sure. Yeah. <laughs> and, uh We'd like to notice that you are making a very nice work using your live blogging. So we, are, we would like to thank you about it. And uh, what brings you to make it? I mean, it's a huge amount of work. You have to follow many conferences to be very precise on every single of them. So what was your first inspiration of making this public? Because it really requires a lot of work, which is impressive. Um, first, I'd like to know that I'm not the only one taking notes. I'm just the only one make, making them public as a that I know. And it started when uh, in my pr previous jobs, uh, I wanted to, ha to make a report for my colleagues. So I took notes and I noticed that I was uh, able to focus on the talks uh, much deep deeply, much deeper, because uh, I had to make sure I was uh, taking everything into account. And uh, the next year, I didn't take any notes. and. Um, I found that I, could, I didn't take, take uh, as much home as uh, when I did. So I started, take, take, I started taking notes again the next year. And uh, I said, uh, well, I have notes. And uh, if I add a few words there and there, I can make fr phrases. And uh, then it can be useful content and uh, just publish it uh, as soon as uh, I write it. And that, that's about it. So it's most, at first, it was mostly for me. And then, uh, if it can help uh, other people, uh, yeah. why not? Yeah. And uh, as a attendee, what could be your arguments or your um, the the way you can use the word you can use to make people coming? What are you liking into the kind of recipes? What make you attending since the first edition that was pretty private because it was uh, pretty less known than today, but. What makes you coming back to Canary Recipes and why should people come to, to, to here? Um, mostly it's the people. Uh, you meet very nice people, uh, not just the French, but from all over, all over the world. And everyone is very nice and uh, you come and uh, meet the community. So that's very important. Uh, and uh, it's a nice social event. So you have in kernel recipes, you have the proximity, uh, proximity with the speakers that you don't have in other conferences. Uh, they don't go and hide uh, backstage after they're finished their talk, and they're, they're very accessible. You can talk to them, ask questions, and uh, yeah, you can grow your network. Yeah, it's all of this. Yeah. So thank you, Anis, for accepting this interview. Thank you. thank you for your fantastic work. Fantastic work, sorry, and I hope we we'll meet you. Uh, one more time next year for Canal Recipes 2018. See you next year. See, see you, Alice. Thank you.